हेलो क्लास आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन दिस सेशन इज क्लास फोर ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री चेंज इन प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग रेशियो अमंग द एग्जिस्टिंग पार्टनर्स सो वी आर इन दर्टीन प्रॉब्लम एक्स वाई जेड आर शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट एंड लॉसेस इन द रेशियो ऑफ फाइव इज टू थ्री इज टू टू दे डिसाइड टू शेयर फ्यूचर प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इन द रेशियो ऑफ टू इज टू थ्री इज टू फाइव सो दिस इज थ्री टू इज टू थ्री इज टू फाइव With effect from for one four two thousand and seventeen, so this will be the old ratio. This this is the new ratio. Okay, they also decide to record the effect of the following accumulated profits or losses and reserves without affecting their book figures by passing a single entry. So they want to adjust this book figures. So they decide to record the effect of the uh, uh, following accumulated profits or losses and reserves without. affecting the book figures so uh, see they have decided they have changed the profit sharing ratio they don't want to alter the books of accounts they just want one entry that can uh, that can be used to adjust the uh, uh, you know the uh, effect of this accounting treatment so first let us uh, understand what is the total profits that is there so you have general reserve pnl account which is a credit balance so it is it is also a profit and then advertisement suspense account this is a uh, debit balance you it is a deferred revenue expenditure so it is an expenditure so it has to be uh, deducted so first let us find out what is the net amount to be adjusted net amount net amount to be adjusted what is this net amount to be adjusted goodwill general reserve plus pnl account credit minus advertisement suspense account so general reserve is 6000 plus pnl account credit is 24000 minus 12000 so totally this comes to 18000 so this is the amount to be adjusted now from this you have to calculate what is the gaining ratio and what is the sacrificing ratio accordingly what is the amount that need we need to change because the old ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2 and the new ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 5 which is totally different so i'm just going to calculate the sacrificing ratio ratio so uh, in this what you are supposed to do is what is the old ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2 new ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 5 so this is the ratio now sacrificing ratio old ratio minus new ratio so i'm just going to write it here what is the old ratio for x it is 5 divided by 10 Minus new ratio two divided by ten, so three divided by ten. For y it is three divided by ten minus three divided by ten, which is equal to no change. Okay, then for z it is two divided by ten minus five divided by ten. So this comes to minus. Three divided by ten. So this is gain. This is sacrifice. So what is the amount that needs to be adjusted? Eighteen thousand is the amount need to be adjusted. So eighteen thousand into three divided by ten. If we are doing this, we will be getting five thousand four hundred. Now gain is to be. Uh, written as 
who has to give to whom z has to give to x so z capital account debit to x capital account okay so this is this is the uh, journal entry so being adjustment for general reserve profit and loss and advertisement sorry advertisement suspense account made made in new profit sharing ratio so uh, made in change change of profit sharing ratio so this can be any language so being adjustments for uh, general reserve profit and loss credit and advertisement suspend account made in change in the profit sharing ratio so this is the narration so i hope that this part is very clear to you and the next thing that we are going to discuss in today's class is um, accounting treatment of reserves and accumulated profits so we have uh, we know that uh, if the reserves are there how to treat it but uh, there are some other reserves that you need to understand so first let me just uh, give an introduction of what we are going to discuss so accounting treatment of reserves and accumulated profit and loss at the time of change in profit sharing ratio reserves and accumulated profits or losses appears in the books of the firm they are transferred to the partner's ca capital account or current account in their old profit sharing ratio because it was earned before the uh, reconstitution of the firm you understand the logic see the reserves and accumu acc accumulated profits are earned before the reconstitution before the change of profit sharing ratio so whatever is that earned should be transferred to the partner's capital account in the old profit sharing ratio in the old profit sharing ratio so this is how it it works so transfer of reserves and accumulated profits so you have reserves account debit profit and loss account debit workmen's compensation reserve account debit and investment fluctuation account debit to all partners capital account so transfer of reserves and accumulated profits so these are all the reserves and accumulated profits which is transferred to the uh, all partners capital account in their old profit sharing ratio this is very 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 important don't transfer it in the new profit sharing ratio the logic is it is earned before the reconstitution so the old partners should get the, those shares in the old profit sharing ratio then for transfer of accumulated losses so so far we saw the profits now it is accumulated losses all partners capital account debit to uh, profit and loss account to deferred revenue expenditure account now uh, capital compensation reserve what is this Ca uh, sorry workman compensation reserve what is this see when workers are um, um, you know having some accidents or something some sort of emergencies this workman compensation reserve can be uh, given can be released to the workers to actually compensate them from the loss or from the catastrophe of what they have faced it is a reserve set aside out of firm's profit to meet possible liabilities to pay compensation to employees uh, if it arises for accidents may or may not arise okay so accounting treatment under different situation what are the accounting treatment under different situation when claim against workman compensation reserve does not exist when claim against workman workman compensation reserve does not exist what is this there is no claim at all but workman compensation reserve alone is present then the journal entry would be work, workman compensation reserve account debit to partners capital account please, please you write it in the full form so it is in the old ratio you need to transfer it but the second case is when claim for work, workman compensation reserve exist there are three situations that may arise one is the claim is less than the amount of workman compensation reserve say for example if the workman compensation reserve is uh, 10000 the claim is only 5000 the claim is lower than the amount of workman compensation reserve the claim is exactly equal to the 
workmen compensation reserve in this case it's it's simple so its claim is exactly equal to the amount of workmen compensation reserve third case is claim is more than the amount of workmen compensation reserve so uh, see uh, the claim is 15000 which means 5000 is shortage so we have various account journal entry to actually tackle these uh, accounting treatment well, if a claim is uh, less than the amount of workmen compensation reserve claim is equal to amount of workmen compensation reserve claim is more than the amount of workmen compensation reserve so this this is the journal entry when claim is lower than the amount of workmen compensation reserve you have wcr account debit to provision for workmen compensation um workmen compensation uh, claim account to partners capital account so being estimated workmen compensation claim provided and the balance transfer to the partners capital account in the old profit sharing ratio so if this uh, transfer is in the old profit sharing ratio okay so workmen compensation reserve account debit whatever is the provision whatever is the claim amount you will write it here so claim amount and uh, after the claim amount whatever is remaining will be transferred to the partners uh, capital account in their old profit sharing ratio simple then when workmen compensation when claim is equal to the workmen um uh, compensation reserve then it is workmen compensation reserve account debit to provision for workmen uh, compensation claim account so workmen compensation reserve account debit to provision for workmen compensation claim account so this is the transaction there is no problem whatever is the uh, uh, reserve that goes to the claim okay the third situation you need to understand well, exactly what the situation is so the claim is higher than the amount of reserve in this case you have to have workmen compensation reserve which is 10000 but the claim for workmen compensation claim is how much provision for workmen compensation claim is 15000 which means 5000 is a loss so claim minus uh, workmen compensation uh, reserve that will be the amount of revaluation it is like a loss look into this so partners uh, capital account debit to revaluation account being the loss on revaluation transfer to the capital account of uh, partners in their old profit sharing ratio so this is a loss this is transfer to the partners capital account okay so we are going to look into one problem uh, uh, related to <coughs> this workman compensation reserve how to prepare how to write the journal entry so look into the problem x y z who are sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 decide to share profits in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 with effect from 1st april 2017 workman compensation reserves appears at 120000 in the balance sheet as at 31 3 workman compensation claim is estimated at 150000 in this case claim is more than the reserve that is available so there should be a revaluation account of 30000 created and that loss is to be transferred to the partners capital account so pass journal entry for the accounting treatment of workman compensation reserve and provision for uh, workman compensation uh, claim so this is the uh, transaction journal entry you have first journal entry workman compensation reserve account debit you have date particulars lf debit and credit okay so this is the format of journal entry so date particulars lf debit and credit workman compensation reserve account uh, debit you have only 120000 in as balance then you have revaluation account debit which comes to 30000 to provision for workmen compensation claim account so this is 1 Fifty thousand. So the journal narration would be B provision created and shortfall charged to revaluation account. So. we have finished the first journal entry the second journal entry is uh, transfer of this revaluation 
to partner's capital. So uh, this loss is being transferred to the partner. So loss transferred means it is reversed account. Now who are the partners? X capital account. Y's capital account. Z's capital account debit. So uh, how much is the value? 30,000. 30,000 in the old profit sharing ratio. So what is the old profit sharing ratio? 5 is to 3 is to 2. If I am doing 5 is to 3 is to 2, you should be getting Fifteen thousand for X for Y nine thousand for um, Z it is six thousand. So I'm just writing the amounts here: fifteen thousand for X, nine thousand for Y, and six thousand for Z. So total you have thirty thousand. And the narration for this being loss on revaluation transfer to partners capital account. This will be the narration for this. I hope that this problem is clear to all of you. Um, and uh, for the previous uh, homework problem I hope that you have completed so this is the solution for that uh, this one is the problem A, B are partners in a firm so uh, take a look at the solution check whether you have written it right uh, if at all you made any mistake please change it if you have any doubts you can ask so see yeah goodwill calculation adjustment of profit uh, so adjustment of profit this is one way where you can directly multiply the sacrificing ratio and find out the profit or old ratio minus the new ratio debit credit that concept also you can use and you, you will have the journal entry this is the profit appropriation and this is the goodwill appropriation being the adjustment of goodwill. So partners capital account you are having this. So pause the video and check whether you have returned it correctly if at all you made any mistake please make the changes. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you class.